Alright guys, let's do it. Saxophone day three. Uh, I'll play the alto. And uh, hopefully this week my video goes a little better than last week. I was not very good last week. We had to uh, restart quite a few times because my camera went down. But I have changed the way I do things, so it should work this time. Uh, we're going to start with long tones on the F major scale. Or the concert F major scale. That is our D scale. But we're going to start it right now. Long tones to get our tone going. Here we go. Starting on D. Kind of hurts my mouth a little bit. All right, it's pretty good. I want to do that again, and this time I want to try to make sure that my note switches are clean. That time I kind of slurred between the notes a little bit, and I don't want to have to do that. I want to to tune. I change right with my tongue. So here we go. Long tones again. <laughs> Bring my next drop a little bit higher. Okay, try it. My goodness. We're gonna pop this up a little higher. Okay. So this is the long tones. Working on my tone. Now before we go into the next to the scale that we're working on today, the D major scale, um, I'm gonna look at my B flat concert scale again, or our G scale just to make sure that I remember it because I want to memorize my scales I want to have them all inside my head so I know them so let's try a G scale uh, let me remember I don't remember <laughs> I remember it at all let me try it first <laughs> Okay. G scale. 
Try again. No, don't stop now. You were doing so good. Okay, G, uh, G scale. Good. Remember, G scale has one sharp in it. It is just F sharp. That. Okay. Let's go on to our D scale. We're going from D to D with just uh, two sharps in it F sharp and C sharp. Let's give it a shot. Start at the low D. Right, so things I was missing your F sharp. One, two, three, and then your middle finger, and then your C sharp is no fingers on the buttons at all. C sharp is the open note on the saxophone. It's a pretty easy scale. Really easy scale. Let's try to do it faster. Here's my metronome. I never have it ready. Yeah, that sounds good. Ha! <laughs> Little too fast. Let's take that at quarter notes. Nope. Missed a note. Okay, let's try again. A little faster. Let's take it eighth notes at 110. Take it 100. Nope. <sighs> C sharp, not C. Two. Close. Nope. Ah, oh, I keep wanting to do C natural. Not working. Still a little slower. Fair enough. I don't have the speed yet that I need. That's okay. Let's play this scale in thirds. See if I can't figure this out. This is going to be tough. What is that note? I didn't get it right. Low C. Low C sharp. What is that? That's really low. Low C sharp is everything down. That's a five. Oh, and the one. Okay. Shit. That one? Hey, let's 
see it again. Make sure I got that note. Got it. Okay. Let's do a chromatic scale now from D to D with every note in between. Just uh, one octave D, D, D chromatic scale. Here we go. Yep, that's right. D sharp E flat D sharp what we got two that's what I was playing man let's try again If I can't do it from memory. Okay, got that scale down. That's takes me at 13 minutes. Let me do that. Just give me another two minutes. I might warm up. Let's run the let's run both of my scales again. G or concert B flat. Nope. Okay, there's my G. Let's do D. Ah, I was wrong. chromatic scale again. I'll get me to the end. not too bad. There's my warm-up. And I feel nice and warm. I spent half my time on it. Should be pretty good. Let's look at Everything is Awesome, which is what I'm working on with my woodwind ensemble. I'll put it on my stand, actually. I worked on it a little bit yesterday with the group, but I'm working on it today now. And this is what I'm playing. This isn't for anybody but me. 
So I need to make sure I can play this right. And I'm seeing when I play this, I have a little bit of problem on this saxophone with my tone on the C natural. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think that there's a leak in the horn, but it'll work for right now until I can get that fixed. So we'll start. The tempo is about right, about right here. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Oh, that was a little fast. One, two, three, four. Nope, one right. Okay. So one more time. Let's slow it. Let's speed it up a little bit. Might be easier at speed. I guess slow that down. <laughs> Alright, so this next part is tougher. We've got an A, we've got an A flat. How do I jump up to that? Yep, that's what it wants. Let's look at this slowly. I cut that out. That's really hard. It's easier on a French horn. That's where that goes. Okay, and then we go later on. Let's try it again. Mark that as sharp because I missed it. Oh, sorry, scratch my head. Try again. Yep. 
Okay. <sighs> Keep going. So what I'm doing is I'm sight reading the parts that I need to work on before I really break down into and dig into them. And I've sight read everything now, so I'm going to take it at a slower tempo. And I'm, I've about got all the notes, so I really need to start worrying about my tone. But let's, I want to make sure I got the rhythm right. Three, four. that up a little bit. I got that. No, 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 no. low brother good lord I don't even think I can get that low I can it's an A mm -hmm. 
again at speed the last little bit of it Yeah, my lips are dead here. I've been I was playing saxophone earlier today, so I'm pretty pretty worn out. It's been about an hour, about an hour playing total, hour and a half maybe. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it there for the day. And uh, like I've said before, the warm ups are what you need to really focus on here. Um, since we don't have anything big in class right now for the saxophone um, that I'm working on, then just follow the warm ups. And uh, I'll post the music for everything is awesome if you'd like, but it's probably above where we're at in class right now. Uh, that's just how I practice it. You can watch my uh, progress. But uh, I'll see you guys next week. This video made it all the way through, so that's good news. I hope you, uh, I hope you watch these, and I hope that you have, hope that it helps you out in your practice. Make sure to get some practice in, at least. 20 minutes a day. If you can't do that, at least practice during the week at some point. It'll really help, I promise. Especially when we're online. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next week for saxophone lesson number four. Have a good day.